Oh, Scott, it's good to see you again. Same here. You know, I, I saw Urban Cowboy on cable about a week ago, and, uh, and then I watched the performance in uh, The Silence of the Lambs, your mm -hmm. performance as an FBI straight, mm -hmm. FBI special agent, and I thought, wow, what a 180 degrees from the tough ex-con in Urban Cowboy mm -hmm. to this short-haired FBI guy. Yeah. Is this a challenge to play a, a, you know, extremely different type of characters? Yeah, like it is, and it's fun. It sort of keeps you from cannibalizing yourself or turning into a, a snake eating its own tail. <laughs> you know, I, I read uh, after Urban Cowboy that uh, Scott Glenn will be the next uh, Clint Eastwood. Um, uh, and certainly not Clint played the, the same type of character for a lot of his career, not all the time, mm -hmm. but uh, um, that's not your cup of tea, I take it. No, not at all. Yeah. I'm not interested in doing that. Yeah. Did you work with uh, FBI agent John Douglas in preparing for this? Uh, yeah, role? I did. I worked with him quite closely, and we've become friends since then. Oh, great. great. And uh, he was really uh, critically important for me doing that part. Uh, he was very, very, you know, generously opened up himself and also the ten agents that work for him in behavioral science. Behavioral science being essentially a one crime outfit. They only deal with serial killing, the sexual homicide. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the FBI school? The, uh, Quantico, the training? yeah, I uh -huh. did. At, at I Quantico? Did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I went there, spent time before we started shooting the movie, and then when we shot down in Quantico, I spent almost every day there. Even the days I wasn't working, hanging out with the agents. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to be a recruiting interview, but from what you've seen, uh, would you recommend this as a career? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I was, I was unbelievably impressed with, uh, with the dedication and, and uh, tenacity and, and, and intelligence, and uh, you know, and caring and sensitivity mm -hmm. of all those people. And you know, thank God they're doing what they do. How do you How would you describe your character? I describe my character as a as a as an essentially decent man who is involved in some in, in a pursuit that's so grave that he to some extent absolutely does believe that the ends justifies the means. Mm -hmm. so, uh, that's how I describe it. Yeah. Was what kind of a relationship did he have with the FBI training played by Jody Foster, uh, Clarice Starling? Was that strictly uh, business or? I, no, I don't think it was strictly business, and, I, and, and there may have, may have been an attraction there. If there mm -hmm. was, it was something that was played underneath. But I think primarily what the relationship was was, uh, was, 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 was teacher to student. And not only teacher to student, but a teacher who sees in the student the same instinctual skills that he has himself. So what I, what I was playing that I really saw in Jody was myself, mm -hmm. younger. And, but fertile ground for me to sort of pass all my knowledge and, 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 and skills onto because I knew that she had the same kind of, the same kind of strange ability, which is both a blessing and a curse of, 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 of putting herself into the position of the, of the criminal in a crime scene and understanding where he did what he did and where he was doing it for his own pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I, I really believe he admired her intelligence too. Uh, Absolutely, had an admiration. Yeah. How would uh, Scott? How would you describe this this film, uh, The Silence of the Lambs? And do you agree that it would be a good release from all the war news for film goers right now? I don't know if there can be a good release from yeah. war news. I mean, I just war has a way of trivializing everything else mm -hmm. that we do and sort of taking the wind out of the sails of things like movies and football games and mm -hmm. those kind of things. So, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I really don't know. How would I describe it? I'd describe it as a, uh, as a very tense psychological thriller that, uh, that, 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 that moves at, at an unbelievable pace and will keep you on the edge of your chair. Yeah, and it certainly would. And an intelligently made film. Mm -hmm. Uh, it has all the elements of an, an excellent film, F from a film reviewer anyway. <laughs> no, good, yeah. that's what counts. Yeah, it sure does. You have um, uh, your next two projects. Uh, one will make a lot of people in the West very happy, and the other one uh, might make the people in, the, in Chicago happy. I could, hope so. Could you tell us a little bit about them? Uh, the one that's opening in about a month is called My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys. And it's a, so. Could you tell us a little bit about them? Uh, the one that's opening in about a month is called My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys, and it's about a rodeo bull rider. 
and going back home after getting busted up uh, working as a rodeo clown, get, he goes home, finds his dad's been put in an old age home the period of time he's been gone, and pulls him out of the old age home. And the movie is about, it's about that. It's about accepting responsibility. It's about uh, when somebody in your family gets old and incapacitated and unable to take care of themselves, do you warehouse them or do you bite the bullet and mm -hmm. take care of them yourselves? Mm -hmm. And it's got, I, one thing I can say about the film categorically, it's the best rodeo footage ever shot, period. Great. It will put Great. you on the back of a wild bull, mm -hmm. guaranteed. Uh, and the other film, Backdraft, is about Chicago firefighters. And uh, Chicago is over the last five months become my favorite city in the world and the people there are unbelievable and particularly the Chicago Fire Department which are a bunch of really uh, um, socially beneficent cowboys <laughs> and, uh, and, and, um, and it's, a, it's an action film directed by Ron Howard with uh, Kurt Russell and Billy Baldwin and Bobby De Niro and a lot of other really good people right. in it and um, I think it's going to be a good movie, yeah. too. So since this will be seen in Chicago, they've got to get out there and see that one. Yeah. yeah. And this one, too. Silent, the Silence of the Lambs. Wonderful film. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you.